Good morning. We have a lot to talk about. We have a hurricane, we have a tropical storm, rain that won't go away, and some sunshine. But I'm going to start you off with tropical storm Bertha. Yesterday, she brought some beneficial rain to the Dominican Republic. Right now, still tropical storm, wind sustained at 45 miles per hour, and she's headed north through Turks and Caicos and up to the Bahamas. So if you have a Caribbean cruise booked this week or any type of vacation on the islands, may not be the best week for it. You can see some heavy rain and some strong winds as the storm moves through the islands. But will it make a direct hit for the U.S.? Right now, the answer is no. So if we look at the next 24 hours, you can see it could strengthen to 60 mile per hour winds, but it's still staying well offshore off the coast of Florida and the Carolinas. Looking more into next week, it makes this big right hand turn. Even though it could strengthen to a category one hurricane, it's still not touching any of the eastern seaboard. Now, this doesn't mean we won't feel any effects from it. This is churning up the waters, so that means we could see some rip currents along the east coast. So be careful as you head to the beach and keep that in mind as you're swimming. But why does it look like this? Why is it making such a big turn? There's good news and bad news with this. The good news is the track looks like this. We're not going to see a tropical storm this week. The bad news is we're paying for it now with constant rain. So what's happening is we have this front that's just parked in the southeastern U.S. and we have the jet that's dipping down. That's what's bringing those cooler temperatures to the Midwest. So both of them are just not moving. So we're just getting some of that constant rain, that constant moisture. But again, it's also acting as a block and keeping Bertha out in the Atlantic Ocean. Now, this is better than Tropical Storm Bertha, but this rain is also nothing to laugh at. We're seeing some flood threats for the southeastern states as some of those rainfall totals could be heavy. Three to five inches of rain expected for areas in and around Miami, two to four in Savannah, and one to two in Wilmington. Again, could see some localized flooding with this, so watch out as you're driving. Do not drive into standing water. Now, the rest of the country looking good in the Midwest. We have a high pressure on Sunday, bringing some sunshine. Another high pressure for the Four Corners region. That's, however, bringing up some moisture that's going to enhance their monsoonal flow that they see this time of year. Again, we are still keeping an eye on Bertha as she makes her way through the Atlantic Ocean. Now, something else that I want to show you is we have another hurricane, Hurricane Izzel. Right now, a major hurricane, Category 3, 115 mile per hour sustained winds but she's in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, in the middle of nowhere. There's no land here. So why am I showing you this? Because it could be a problem next week. So if we take a look right now, Category 3 could weaken as it heads into cooler waters. 2, 1, drop into tropical storm. But look, could make a direct hit for Hawaii. Now this could move more north or more south and completely miss it. But it does have that possibility to hit Hawaii next week. Now check this out. Even if the Zell doesn't hit Hawaii, like train cars, there's one right behind us. This is a prospect that we're watching that could turn into a tropical storm and a hurricane. And if it's named, it could be named Julio. If we look at next week, Julio could also be making a direct hit for Hawaii. Again, like train cars. So by this time next week, we could be talking about not one, but two tropical storms and hurricane to hit Hawaii. Something we're definitely going to keep an eye on. Something that, again, is still uncertain. Could happen, couldn't happen. But... We'll keep an eye on it and we'll let you know. Back to you.